Hello, it's Chris. And today I'm going to show you how to use a web view in your Swift UI project. Now, unfortunately, there is no Swift UI web view, but it's relatively simple to use the UI kit one in your Swift UI project, as you can see right here. All right, let's take a look. Before we begin, one quick note, we have a free Xcode project containing sample code for all of the Swift UI components. Use it for your own projects or just to learn from get it at cwc.to slash Swift UI dash kit. So here we have a brand new Xcode project with the basic content view. What do we have to do? Because I mentioned earlier that there is no Swift UI web view. What we have to do is use the UI kit one, but we have to package it in a way that we can use it in our Swift UI project. And that is done using UI view representable. So let me go ahead and show you it's actually quite simple to do for this purpose. We're going to add a new file to our project. Let's choose a Swift file. Let's call this web view because that is the structure name that I'm going to be using. And we're going to change this to Swift UI. We're going to create our web view uh, struct. And this is where we adhere to the UI view representable protocol. So you can read here a wrapper for a UI kit view that you use to integrate that view into your Swift UI view hierarchy essentially just your Swift UI project. So that's what we do. Now there are two different functions that we need to implement here in order to follow this protocol. The first is make UI view. So this is where you return the UI kit view that you want to use. For us, this is going to be the WK web view. But this is in the WebKit framework, you can see here, it says WebKit is not imported. So you can go ahead and import that up here like that. And what you would do is you would return a new instance of that. Now this function, it didn't know that that was the UI kit view we wanted to use. So let's change this to the appropriate type. And that's all we have to do here for this, right? This is going to get called to create the view and return it. Now the other function we need is the update UI view function. And this one gives you an opportunity to update essentially that UI kit component for presentation in your Swift UI views. So you see here you have a reference to that UI kit component, we're going to actually just change this parameter name to web view. Now what do we want to do with the web view, we want to load a website, right? It has a load method, which takes in a URL request instance. So we have to create that. In order to create a URL request instance, it needs a URL instance. So there are a couple of things we need to create first. So let's start at the beginning with the URL. So here's the URL instance. And we are going to use this one right here. Now, one important thing to note, and I don't know why it's not indicating it here is that this one, let me just put in a string URL here. This one creates an optional URL instance, let me see if I can show you this here. Yeah, so you see this question mark it represents that it is, uh, it could error out and not give you an actual URL instance it could actually be nil. So you have to check against that. So let's do this. And this is basically saying if we cannot create this, it's not going to run this code. However, if this is created as an actual URL instance, then it will assign it into this constant and then within here we can use it. So within here, we are going to create our request like that. right? And we are going to pass in URL. And then finally, we can load it up in the web view. All right, so we're going to just pass in the request like that. Now let's try this out. Because it's ready. That's it. So here, we're going to replace all of this with our new web view. And we are going to just ignore safe area. But we have one problem, this web view only loads up this web page. What if we wanted to make it dynamic? So if you go back to the web view, instead of specifying this here, 
let's make it data that you have to pass in. So we're going to create a property. It's going to be URL type and we're going to make it optional so it can be passed in or not. And then you can just erase this. Right. And before it tries to load it, it's going to check to make sure that it's not nil. We'll save this and we come back here. As you can see, if we don't specify anything, it doesn't load. But if we actually specify the URL here to be this, uh, I'm missing a bracket and there we go. Then it loads it up and now you can actually specify the URL here. And that's how you use a web view in your Swift UI project. If you want to download the sample code for this, we've got it all in a single handy Xcode project. In fact, it contains a sample code for all of the Swift UI components so that you can learn from it or copy and paste the code into your own project. Just visit cwc.to slash Swift UI dash kit. It's a free download. I'll leave it in the description below the video too.